Welcome to TLC for the Soul podcast, where soul meets spirit. You have entered into sacred space. I'm your host, Tammy Lynn Chambers, and I'm here to help you shine. Now let's get going on this podcast journey. Hello, friends. Hello, and welcome to yet another episode of the podcast. We are going to be doing our monthly pick a card. I am sitting outside with card decks scattered everywhere. And at first, I didn't really want to do this. I don't know. I just was feeling kind of weird today. Today is like a weird day. It is um, Thursday, May the 6th when I'm recording this. And I know I think I said I was going to put this up on YouTube too as a video, but I was just like, oh my gosh, that means I have to have a camera and a mic and another phone and a mic, one to do the audio and one to do the video. And I was just like, I don't even feel like I can barely do the one. So it is a very strange time. And even I think if you come to this later, you may be coming to this pick a card, just feeling kind of the same way, kind of like what is going on right now um and so i'm just gonna feel i'm just going to talk about the energies first and then we'll go dive into the pick a card but before we do that always on the podcast we say you choose how you want to listen so if you're new then welcome i am sitting outside today there could be little outside sounds happening around me um, but as always on TLC for the Soul, you know, that's how we roll around here. It's real life. We're not in a studio, in a soundproof room recording these things. We're in real life. So, um, you know, sit back and relax. See if the channel jives with you. Do you like the vibes of this channel? If you're a returning listener, thank you so much for joining me yet again on another episode this is our pick a card for May. We've already talked about for May, the tornadic energy coming in and the um, lone wolf syndrome, I don't even know what to call it, and perseverance, which I think is kind of where we are at right now. Um, So first of all, let's choose how we want to listen. Like I said, if you're new and you want to just sit back and relax and see how this goes, or you can choose to join me around the sacred circle as I wrap us all in love light and light love. Calling in the spirit guides who would like to join us on this pick a card journey. Or you can take your listening experience an octave higher, inviting your own spirit guides, totems, wisdom keepers, angels, deities, power animals, whoever you would like to work with in this now moment whoever you think might help you interpret the messages that are coming through the cards for your own personal journey i'm really glad we decided to do this today because it just feels very strange so it's like this duality type of energy where i'm vacillating between like being really grateful for all this cool stuff that's going on And at the same time, being like really kind of like sad for other stuff that's not going on. I don't know how to explain it. Um, And I want to be on the higher level. I don't want to feel like sad for the other stuff that's not going on. But I can't ignore it either. So um, this compartmentalization came up before in one of our other episodes. I don't even remember. We've done so many now. I don't remember which one it was. Um, but you may be feeling that too, as we head closer to Gemini season, this duality stuff starting to come up. Um, so I'm going to see what's in the cards for that. So I really then, because I feel just kind of this crossroads energy, and I, I think it's because we're in between this kind of in between space between now and the new moon on the 11th, on May the 11th. That we may just be kind of in this little bit of a void space um, before some of those energies start pouring in. Which, what is today? 
the 6th. Yeah, maybe in a few days here. We'll start to get more clarity about what's going on. So for those of you that are new or have not heard a podcast episode before, that's a pick a card. I kind of do it on purpose. Um, I really would like to showcase my cards more, um, my own decks, because I have like four or five decks now, but I really just didn't even feel like it today. So I brought in the Happy Cloud deck. That's my deck. I brought in Labyrinth of Dragonshire. That's my hand-drawn deck. I brought in you, what is it, Believe in Your Own Magic by Amanda Lovelace and the Everyday Witch, no, it's a tarot deck, you know me and my deck names, I'm not really good, it's the same deck I use all the time, my modern witch tarot, Who? thank you, Spirit, Spirit wasn't here again, I'm telling you. This happened to me the other day during Pinky Von Pinkerton, and my brain was just like mush. We did the Divine Masculine SOS was our last episode, and hopefully if you're a Divine Masculine listening, you've been able to incorporate some of those practices. Maybe you're starting to feel a little bit um, better about what's going on in your journey, or maybe you are here also just kind of seeking answers of what's going on. So the reason I do this pick a card, even though we're a podcast, is I want those of you that are very visual, because I think everybody's very visual, hey, they want their, um, they want their, it's the walking guy, you guys, we talked about him before, (laughs) he's still walking, okay, it's getting very sunburned, so strange, okay, he's kind of like this, um, like this totem for May. So if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, came up in Divine Masculine SOS, the walking guy. So he just walked by and said hi, but he's been walking all morning and he's been walking like every day since I told you about it. But anyway, we do this as an auditory pick a card because I think everyone is so driven by the visual. And there have been times in the past couple of days where my eyes have just felt so sensitive to everything. And I, and we need off phone time where we're not constantly staring at our phones and where you're just listening to someone's voice. And, you know, we can describe the cards to you and you can get images and, and work on your third eye rather than your visual eyes right now and work on your psychic senses, hearing um, me describe the cards and imagining what they might look like for you. So that's why we do this. It's a little bit of a psychic development outside the visual, which I'm all for that. Okay, so the other thing that we wanted to let you know before I tell you what piles are what is, um, I don't know which, which ones these are, but there's three very distinct card piles for this pick a card. One, they're saying, not number one, but one of the piles is going to be a career and finances reading. The other one is going to be a soul purpose, soul mission reading, and then the third one is going to be like a romance um, partnership or divine counterparts reading. I don't know which is which yet until we get into them. So the um, the piles, pile one is going to be um, marked with a. I just I didn't know what kind of like little you know, doodads or hoodads or whatever to put with these piles. Sometimes we put crystals and stuff, but I have this big bowl by the door of all these like snack bars and stuff because I want my partner like to like, go out the door and he's like, he grab some of these and eat them before they expire since I don't eat a lot of this stuff that he's brought into the house. But the, for pile one, we're going to have the chewy chocolate chip, the Quaker chewy chocolate chip granola bar. So it's just, the pictures, it just says chewy in a really big thing, and it's got big pictures of chocolate chips on it, and it says nine grams, so nine grams of whole grains, no high fructose corn syrup. So the chocolate chip, that's going to be pile one. Pile two is this little see-through cellophane envelope package or whatever called um, Noni's Italian-inspired artisan baked biscotti and they are quite good Um, although I try to stay away from stuff that has yeast in it because I have a sensitivity to yeast but these are really good they're very crunchy and they're lemon flavored so it has like a 
a lot of this one piece biscotti in each individually wrapped package and it's got like this little lemon icing stuff that's pile number two and then pile number three is a nature valley sweet and salty granola bar in almond dipped in almond butter coating um, let us know on our facebook page or tweet us where do you take your bar so I feel duality here in this one with the sweet and salty nut flavoring. So got all the cards. I'm gonna mark the time of the first reading. It's like 10, 13. And we're gonna start with the chocolate chip energy, whatever, granola bar. So let me just shuffle out the cards. I'm gonna start with Happy Cloud. I'm going to see very quickly what this is all about. All right. What guides are here with us right now? Archangel Metatron, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Raphael. So it's all about, it's an Archangel show right now for this episode. Looks like. All right, got the tarot deck next. A diatribe. Two of pentacles in the reverse. So when I get reverse cards, I read them as more like an exclamation point or something that you really are supposed to pay attention to. Okay, I'm doing the Labyrinth of Dragonshire deck. This is just my own little hand-drawn deck. Oh golly, there's a strong message here. <laughs> oh, what do we want folks to know? Right now, I mean, this bigger deck, this you want to make your own magic deck. Okay, this has already come up personally. <laughs> okay, so we've got the happy cloud deck. We got stay, time to retreat, and check in. Your guides are trying to reach you. From the labyrinth of Dragonshire deck, we got connect with the spirit world. We've got the Two of Pentacles in reverse, and from the Make Your, Work Your, Believe in Your Own Magic deck, we got Mural, like she's painting a mural on the wall. So this is probably the one we'll focus on the graphic the most, or the, you know what I mean, the, the drawing on the card, the illustration. It's called Mural, Be Your Own First Priority. Okay, I talked about this on Instagram, I think yesterday. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'm doing a little bit of some different stuff over there. So you wanna join us on TLC for the Soul over on Instagram. But this is, she's kneeling down, she's got paints all in front of her, and she's got, she's got a cat watching her. She's drawing a mural on the wall with paints, and the mural is a castle. In, like it appears to be in flames oh, okay I can already tell where this is going she's drawing flowers in front of the castle so castle is um, significant when it comes to talking about the twin flame journey um, a castle is one of those um, metaphors or signs um, at least for me of the twin flame journey the castle kind of being quote-unquote union with your twin so you picked group one you're we getting the twin flame the romance reading this card has come up many times before for people that i've read for and it had and the message was always the same one although it doesn't always have to be the same message with the same card every time but this one i do see that and i see in front of this girl she's got um, what is it like cans of paint and the red cans, there's like one, two, three red cans, and then she has two orange, one yellow, one blue, and one green, but the red cans are very prominent, and the three red cans, it's like mama bear, papa bear, baby bear, <laughs> oh my god, it's like three red cans, and one of them's really big, almost like nesting dolls in a way. Be your own first priority. And you've got two check-in cards and two, you've got two check-in with your guides cards. That's pretty prominent. And you've got two of pentacles reversed. So it's really saying that you've got to get back into balance. Jeez. Oh, All right. And then you've got time to retreat and be your own first priority, which I want to just hear what the channeled messages are because this 
is just so much like almost like divine divine person SOS whether you are a masculine or a feminine it's kind of like divine person SOS you've got to get back into balance um and I was feeling that earlier today too kind of like um I was telling you with this duality energy and the duality may not just be like the Gemini is the twins um and when duality starts showing up it usually right now for me has to do with the twin flame journey and so let me see be your own first priority so if you didn't listen to this on instagram i talked about this gate opening up for the 88 portal the other day and my guides stepped in so i'll tell the story for those of you that aren't over there my guides stepped in the other day and they showed me three doors and they said which door are are you do you want to go down they didn't even say which door do you want to go down they just said here's three timelines basically and they sh and timeline one was kind of like so this is for you it's not just i'm not just telling you this story just for me but this is for you the, there was like door number one was like the karmic partner um doorway so for those of you that are involved with a karmic relationship in any way be it a person a, a job a habit um, anything that is keeping you from moving forward on your path something you know isn't for you but you feel still feel like I'm hearing the word tethered you still feel tethered to it for some reason so there was that door door number two was like well your twin flame partner like that was the twin flame partner timeline and then door number three was like this really bright beautifully lit doorway that was kind of like you choose you first doorway and I like be late with the choice for quite a while because I'm like, well, if I choose the me doorway, does that mean I'm not choosing the twin flame doorway? Does that mean I'm not choosing my twin? Does that mean I'm just like, I was all like up in a tizzy about it because I was freaking out. I was like, what do you mean? And then spirit's like, well, when you choose you, you still bring all of your dreams and manifestations and goals and intentions with you, but you're choosing what's right for you first and maybe you know some of the stuff you've chosen before you know who knows <laughs> who knows what's going to happen in the future so you have to choose you first above all else you shouldn't be putting anybody else over yourself in terms of your spiritual growth in terms of your happiness in terms of you know you feeling good and being at peace you should always choose yourself first and once you choose yourself first everything else all that other stuff falls into place anyway because you can say to spirit like I, I want please show me what's for my best and highest good and all that other stuff if it is well then you get to keep carrying that knapsack with you on your path but I'm going to get a clarifying card, though, because I still feel like that's a lot of check-in with, without a lot of other distinct advice. So let's get a couple of little cards for advice. <laughs> boundaries. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. And this is a doorway. It's just a hand-drawn card. But it's called Boundaries, Boundaries, Boundaries. And it's card number 22. Hmm. I want one more card. Slow down and celebrate yourself. All right. So right now they're not giving us anything more. So it sounds like you're in this space where you are just having to kind of go within, choose yourself first, set up strong boundaries that doesn't allow anybody, regardless of who they are, to invade your peace, your sense of well-being, your, your serenity, any of that, um, even if it is your twin, even if it is your karmic partner, even if it is your child, your dog, your neighbor or whatever choose you first so if you choose you first right now the advice is that you need to slow down just take good care of yourself this this card feast is called feast slow down and celebrate yourself 
she's on this really beautiful little throne and she's got her little cool clothes on but she's surrounded by fruits I know you guys aren't gonna want to hear this she's surrounded by fruits and vegetables but I do see like a little tipped over like wine goblet you know so that's like the fruits and vegetables are really big like very bountiful here and the little tipped over wine cup is like maybe um you know maybe indulge a little tiny bit but don't go overboard and this did happen to me the other day. I was really feeling like, oh, it was kind of like a what was me kind of feeling. And I was like, no, oh, who cares? Like, you know, I just kind of felt really down. And I was like, you know, who cares if I eat this other piece of pizza? I usually only eat like one piece of pizza because I'm not really supposed to eat dairy. But pizza is like a big weakness for me. And I had two pieces of pizza and I was like, okay, I'm doing okay with that. I worked out today. And then at the last minute, I was like, oh, who cares? I'm just going to eat this third piece of pizza. And I knew I shouldn't just because I don't eat, like, I usually eat small, small quantities throughout the day, but it was at night. I was watching a movie with my partner, and I was just like, oh, I'm just going to have this third piece of pizza. Well, I did, and I really regretted it because my stomach felt too full. Um, I didn't feel good. I felt even worse about myself after that. And when I went to bed, I couldn't sleep because this pizza was just laying so heavily, like all the crust and all that. So it's really a time to take care of yourself. Um, set up those boundaries. Um, for those of you that are in union, you know, it may be a time for a little separate um, mini vacay from you and your partner. So you can get your head on straight about what you want for yourself moving forward. Because I think sometimes in the twin flame dynamic, or again, I have to call it something, you know, I, I don't really like to label it, but in that type of twin dynamic, you can get so um, melded into your person because you're joined energetically so closely that sometimes I think you kind of lose a little bit of who you are um, in that in that aspect. And you need to kind of schedule the time away from your partner to kind of, you know, remember who you are and come back into yourself again. So I don't think we're going to find any major answers between now and this new moon. They're saying like five days, five, within five days or so, you're going to start feeling a lot better. Even if this is timeless and you come to this later, you're going to start feeling a lot better five days after this reading about your whole situation. You're going to have some more clarity. You're going to be able to move forward. But right now, they're just putting a little bit of an energetic stop on you to really go within and um, do some journey work or something. Really get in touch with your guides, however that works for you, be it meditation or whatever. But they're saying you need to check in more often right now with your guides. Um, so that you don't get off track um, with all the goodness that you've already brought through for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that at that group one. I think that's a pretty direct message. The cards were very direct and very balanced on either side. Um, I have two check-in cards, I have boundaries cards, and I have two cards that are like celebrate yourself <laughs> and be your own first priority. So I think that's enough said there. All right, you guys, you might want to crosswatch or not crosswatch, but you might want to be called to a couple of the other groups too. So I may see you over there. Take care. All right, group two. Hello, group two. If you chose the Lemon Noni's Italian Inspired Artisan Baked Biscotti, then this is your reading. We're gonna start with Happy Cloud. Let's see if we have different guides. We're like, no, they're the same. We have the Archangels here. Haniel, Metatron. We actually have Archangel Michael stepping in for your group. Oh, we got the same. All oh, right. We're getting similar cards to group one. Interesting. I don't know. So remember, one, one group was the twin a romance reading. One they were saying was career and finances, and one was... Oh my god, you guys, I'm shuffling a lot and we're getting the exact same cards. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, yeah, you might, you're probably coming from pile one looking for more answers and they're giving you, oh my shit, holy crap, it's the exact same tarot card. 
They're giving me the exact same answers. Okay, the guides are playing with us now a little bit too. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like some of us are doubting our own intuition and our own magic. All right, so group one got... Uh, there's five cards sitting in front of me now, and group one got three of these same five cards, and I've shuffled a lot. So... On the Happy Cloud card, you got check-in. Your guides are trying to reach you. Group 1 got that card. From my own deck, um, Labyrinth of Dragonshire, we got Connect with the Spirit World. That's card number 8. Group 1 got that card. From the Modern Witch Tarot, we got Two of Pentacles. Um, group 1 got that card. And it's not in the reverse this time, though. So it was in the reverse the first time, and it's not now. Now, from the Believe in Your Own Magic, we did get two different cards. Um, the first one is number 13, Lioness, You've Earned All Your Stripes. And number 24, Potion, Remember to Practice Self-Love. This feels very much similar type of reading, though. Okay, which one is this? What are we trying to talk about here? Okay, I want one more card. So the theme too in group one was that you don't have a lot of answers right now because it's not time for you to have the answers yet. Okay, I drew another card from the um, Labyrinth of Dragonshire deck and it's Fire, Desire, Passion, Spurn, Sacral, Chakra, No Pain, No Gain. And it's like a fiery F, the letter F on the front of the card. I want to sit with this for a second, because you guys did say, the guides did say one of these was career romance, and um, money and finance, finances was another big one. Okay, so they're saying this is the finances um, reading, that, th that this is for those of you, you're coming here because you're concerned about your finances. And it's Taurus season right now when I'm recording this. And there's a big emphasis on the material kind of pentacles part of the world right now. Or coming up in the astrology, I guess. Pentacles, stuff like earthy, sensuality, finances, home, family, all that. Um, as signified by my family phone which won't stop binging and dinging so just here's what they're sharing with the duality of this it's like you set all these manifestations and or set all these intentions a while back um, having to do with your finances you've even been doing work on your um, feeling better about your own wealth and your own self-worth and knowing that it comes from yes a positive mindset but it comes from clearing old baggage from this life and other lifetimes um, you may want to join us tomorrow this group um, join me on Instagram tomorrow I am doing a live charity event over there tomorrow we are going to be doing some prosperity healing but um, I think you're feeling like, well, heck, I, with this fire, desire, no pain, no gain card, you're thinking like, well, I've already put in all this work and I'm not seeing a whole lot of results. And your guides are coming in saying, um, whoa, little mister or little miss, um, you're seeing a heck of a whole lot of results that you kind of are only partially acknowledging and you're not celebrating them enough. And so we're confused about what you want because you you are seeing small manifestations come in. Yes, it's not like a castle or a expensive wedding or a multi-week vacation or a giant house, but you are seeing results based on all the previous work that you've done on yourself around... Um, around this and uh, this phone keeps making these noises like it's it's affirming what I'm saying 
but it's like you're you you've done all the work you've done the work and now you're supposed to be enjoying some of these manifestations but you're not because you're too focused on the future and you're afraid that you're gonna yeah and there goes the dog too like a confirmation like you're afraid you're gonna lose all this um this came up earlier today personally um i upgraded like i just upgraded um my partner wanted to switch cell phone companies i was perfectly fine with mine i love mine but he wanted to switch and get all new devices and thankfully i did manifest a new phone because my phone is pretty much on its dying it's like three years old and it's about to die like the screen is going out and the hard drive is going out and all that and so he was like okay we need to do this and i actually based on all the you know deals and everything they give you when you switch providers i ended up going from like android to apple iphone which i said i would never do so this is what i'm talking about this is the story so i, I went from android to apple which i said i'd never do and I, the phone came in yesterday and I got it all set up and I really like it. Um, and everybody got brand new devices. I mean, we're at now like Apple family and we got, everybody got an iPad, everybody got a phone. And I was like, whoa. Um, and then I started like doubting like, whoa, these are really expensive. And am I gonna be able to like pay this bill every month? And now there's two huge bills. There's like a closing out bill for the other place and there's a new bill for this place. And how am I, what am I going to do there? And that's a lot of money. And, um, and these phones, like this phone, I have this learning curve with this phone and it's really grating on my nerves and bothering me that I have to have like, like right now to record this, I'm using my old phone because I don't have this accessory that I need to plug my lavalier mic into the new phone. And so it's like, well, spirit is like, okay, what is it? Do you not want your manifestation or not? Because you got it. Why are you just happy with it? Why are you trying to pick it apart and find... And these are the little ones. And Spirit's like, if you can't even, like, enjoy the little ones, how are you going to settle in and be ready for the bigger ones? And as I'm saying that, the car in front of me that's parked kind of out in front of where I live, the license plate is for... Well, it's KISS, K-S-S, and then 4999. So... You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do some more healing on yourself because this is your passions that you've worked really hard from. This is this fire, desire, passion card, no pain, no gain, and the lioness. You've earned all your stripes. You've worked really hard for these manifestations. You did all this healing work. You've been practicing. You've actually been practicing self-love and doing really good at it. Um, but the shirt that she's wearing on this potion is called Por Potion Remember to Practice Self-Love. She has like a cute little t-shirt on, but it's called Basic Witch. <laughs> this is like, I love Emily in Paris. If you've ever a lot watched um, on Netflix, Emily in Paris, where they call her. They call her, <laughs> I mean, she meets with like, um, oh, what's his name? Pierre Cardin, but he has like a fake name in the series, but he calls her like a basic bitch, but it's like, you know, Rengard or whatever in Fran in French, you're a Rengard, you're a basic bitch. And this card is like basic witch with a W, but it's kind of like, you still kind of feel like, you know, you should be feeling like in your power, like you manifested all these things. You should be feeling strong. You should be feeling really good about all that you've done. You shouldn't be like tearing yourself down and now bringing worry into the mix and focusing too far into the future. Like you don't even know what's going to happen, you know, to one month down the line, two weeks down the line. Like you need to get balanced and get back in the now. That's the two of pentacles. There's the dog again saying, yep, I'm clarifying that you need to get back in the now and get out of your head so much and really check in with your guides again they're suggesting shamanic journey work somewhere where you can meet with your guides and do like a round table with them and really sit down and channel in um, some answers to your questions because I think you have a lot of worries number one that need healing and questions that need answering but you haven't asked the right questions yet which is part of what is going to be coming to you um, before this new moon is you're going to start feeling into and getting a sense of what are these questions I'm supposed to be asking because really 
you're kind of either focused all over the place or you're focused too much in one place. And because you're so deep down in the weeds, um, you are losing touch with what, what your focus needs to be. And this all has to do with um, everything. It's like career and finances. Like you need to get in touch with what you really want moving forward. You need to celebrate yourself more. You've earned all your stripes. You've earned all your manifestations. Like just enjoy them. Um, change can seem weird. Even little changes. Like to me, even this little change like this new phone and the new bill and the new company and all that was almost like a tower moment. I was like, oh my God, I'm thrown out of my, I'm thrown out of my comfort zone. Um, so if you're a sensitive soul, you know, you can get thrown out of your comfort zone very easily. And so it's time to come back into balance there. So definitely set aside some time to do some work with your guides. And if you want to join me over on Instagram this Friday, if you listen to this when this drops, we're doing a live charity event for World Vision. 100% of the proceeds donated go to World Vision. Um, that's another thing we're going to be talking about. We're going to be doing prosperity healing. And we're going to be talking about tithing. Um, it's a very, very important part of your pros. I'm um, getting major chills. It's a very, very important part of your prosperity journey. Um, so you may not want to miss that. And if you can't be on the live, I can't tell you exactly when I'm going to be on. Um, but the recorded video will be there in my feed. And you can always come back and watch it later. All right, you guys. That is all I'm going to say for this one. So take care. And we may see you again in pile three. <laughs> if not, then we will see you again soon. Hello, pile three. Hello. You chose the Nature Valley Sweet and Salty Granola Bar, Almond Granola Bar. Where do you take your bar? Now, I do want to say that pile one and pile two were very weird because they got pretty much almost, almost the exact same cards. But we're going to see what you're going to get. This is the Labyrinth of Dragonshire deck. <sighs> okay. One of the same cards fell out from piles. No, it's not. It's a different card. Never mind. Take that back. There's two that look very much the same. This is Modern Witch. Oh, holy shit. It's the same tarot. All three groups got the exact same tarot card. These are really these are really shuffled, too. So there's no way. The guides are being cheeky right now. Oh, and the same Oracle card as group one. And let's do the Happy Cloud. Oh, different ones. Oh, nope, same messages, though, just different cards. All right, let me lay these out. All right, let me tell you what we got. So for the Oracle card from Believe in Your Own Magic, we got Feast, Slow Down and Celebrate Yourself. That's the exact same Oracle card as Group 2. We got the Two of Pentacles. Every single group got the Two of Pentacles. It's not reversed. But um, this is a very strong message that all three groups need to come back into balance. Um, the Labyrinth of Dragonshire deck, we got Earth, the Root Chakra, Grounding, Solar Rays, and Inner Fire. We got Fun is Required Right Now, and Ouch, My Achy Breaky Heart. And from the Happy Cloud deck, we got Island Time, You Need to Slow Down, and Luck, You Will Be Successful. So let me see what this is about because I already knew the focus of the other two. This is a little bit of everything all in one kind of group three. You have got, um, they keep saying duplicity going on. What is duplicity? A double life. You've got a lot going on right now, hence the earthing, needing to get grounded card, um, needing to get outside, which is where I'm sitting at doing this reading. Two of Pentacles, we know you need to come back into balance, and in order to do so, you're going to have to slow down. It's really almost like the exact same messages for all three decks. This is great for all three groups. 
you need to slow down. Luck is you will be successful and fun is required right now. So we are again in this, the message overall, the overarching theme right now is we're in this weird spot and it doesn't matter when you listen to this because this is timeless. So if you listen to it when it drops, we're in this weird spot before the eclipse, the eclipses begin this new moon on May the 11th is kind of prepping us to get ready for our first eclipse at the end of the month. But you don't have a lot of answers right now, but you're feeling, um, you're just like they're saying, you're feeling like over it, like over all of it, like the quote unquote over it. Like I'm so over this. Um, I can definitely relate to that. Um, I'm really glad I did this reading today because it helps me, not that I feel good that everybody's kind of in the same boat, but I was kind of like just feeling that way earlier today, like I'm over this, I'm over many parts of this journey, like I just want to lay down like the card from this deck, if it's on the bottom I'm going to freak out, oh the star is on the bottom of the deck, Oh, but there's a card in this deck, um, it's the everything is fine card, it's like the ten of swords, but it was an extra card that they put in this deck but she's just like laying there with all these swords in her back but she's looking at her cell phone and it's like everything is fine I don't even see it now but, but everything is fine is basically what they want all of us to know <laughs> they want you to know and right now again you're not going to get a lot of answers you're going to be asking they're saying they're you're going to be asking the wrong questions so it's the same as pile two basically so i feel like a lot of you are going to cross watch all pile all of these piles like you aren't going to really like what you heard in one pile and you're going to be like okay i'm just going to go listen to the next one and then you're going to be like well that kind of wasn't exact like you want more deets you want more details and they're saying that they're not ready to share them they like spirit the universe is not ready to share the details with you right now because you've got to get really clear-minded in order to understand what's coming up next for you so this is like this is our sole purpose part of the groups um, we already talked about romance we already talked about finances but I feel like this group three is somebody who's kind of like working on all of that you're working on your career and your finances you're working on your divine partnership you're working on yourself and you're just kind of like a little bit over it and you're really like tired and you really need a break and this is your chance the island time card I love this one of my favorite cards um, this one and Aloha, I kind of wrote this when I was in the Hawaii, in the spirit of the islands, um, where I get sometimes when I'm really heavily into the Lemurian vibe, and Maui comes through very strongly for me, and Island Time card um, just is one of my favorite cards. I have many favorite cards in the Happy Cloud deck, but I love to see Island Time, and I like to see, there's a celestial card that I really like to see too, that's white with gold. But this is like fun. Island time is like the fun time. Like if this is like if you could just drop everything and get a, a super saver flight to Hawaii, like would you do it right now? Would you be impulsive and would you just like say to help with it all? Um, I need a quick break. I'm going to go spend the weekend over here. This feels like a very impulsive, like I just want to get away from it all card. And your guys are saying, yeah, like if you, if, if you've got the finances for it, if you feel like good about that, then you should, you should get away. Even if it's like get away and, you know, drive the next town over and see a new town and what that town has to offer and, and see some, you know, go to a new park or a new outdoor space you've never gone to before. I mean, it doesn't have to be, if it was up to me, definitely believe me, if I could, I would jump on a plane right now and <laughs> Uh, and I was like, would I pick California or would I pick Hawaii? I would have to pick Hawaii. In this state of mind right now, I'd have to pick Maui. I would love to go and just hang out there for the weekend. Um, definitely with a special someone, but uh, that's it. See, so you're kind of putting stipulations. Okay, so this is the other thing that's going on. 
So this goes into the Out My Achy Breaky Heart card, which is one of the final cards we have. And overall, the message for this deck is you're going to be successful. It's the Luck card, which is another one of my favorite cards. But it's like you're going to be successful in all these areas. And this Out My Achy Breaky Heart card is like my Three of Swords card. Like you're really missing somebody right now. And you want your special someone to be here like sooner rather than later. But like Liz Harrison, she, I love Guided, uh, you hear me talk about her before, like Guided by Guided with Angels, Guided by Angels, Guided by Angels on YouTube. She's like a little twin flame, um, you know, per, um, reader. And I love her energy. But she always says, you can't put conditions on an unconditional love. And maybe she's not saying it. Maybe Spirit's just saying that. And I don't necessarily have to say it's her, but... You can't, because she's very heavily, she channels very, I know, I can tell she's channeling everything she's saying. Well, anybody that's reading really is, right? But she says, you can't put conditions on an unconditional love. So if this is your twin, or your divine counterpart, or your soulmate, or the one, or whatever you want to call it, like, you can't, they're not going to be here before they're ready. Or if you're in union and something's going on in your partnership, you know, that person's not ready for whatever it is that, that you're trying to have them commit to next on your path because you know a lot of times the feminine gets the information and the downloads and the timeline shifts and all of that stuff before the masculine does and so you may be steps ahead if you're this is your message you may be steps ahead of your masculine and he's just he or she depending on who they are just not here yet they're not ready yet it doesn't mean they're not working on themselves um many of them are um, but you can't say like, oh, I don't want to go on that weekend getaway because my masculine or my feminine, whoever you think I was in, you, my counterpart is not here right now. So I'll just forget about it. I guess I'm just not going to go have that fun time. Um, first of all, you need to take care of yourself first, which is the slow down and celebrate yourself card. You need to slow down and you do need to get away now. Um, now is the time to spend time by yourself. In this in-between time, like, you know, maybe they've pulled away a little bit and they're off doing something else. Now's the time to take care of yourself even more. And yeah, you may be missing them, but they're working on themselves. So know they're working on themselves. Know that they're going to be successful. You're going to be successful. If you, um, you know, haven't met them yet or you haven't come into union yet, it's all going to all work out in the end. It's all going to be fine. Just don't try to put conditions on it. Don't try to pick the time. Because believe me, I got caught up in that. Like earlier in the year, I was like, I, I feel like I'm going to be here, 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 and here with this by this point in time. And Spirit was like, yeah, right, lady. Um, you're just uh, <laughs> pipe dreams. So pipe dreams. It was, they were saying it was wishful thinking. It was wishful thinking because the universe knew better than, than me. And the universe knows better than you. And you just have to pretty much come into acceptance with where you're at on your journey. Don't hold it back on having fun. Take that trip to Maui or wherever you want to go. Go by yourself. Take a friend with you. Um, just have fun right now and relax because everything is coming to you in, I know you guys hate to hear this because I do too, in divine right timing. Um, sometimes I just want to crumple up to find timing and throw it against the wall like a tennis ball or something. But it really does, in retrospect, when you look back on when divine timing was at play, it always has your best interests at heart, even if it doesn't feel like it in the moment. So right now, the advice from spirit is just to celebrate yourself. Go within, go have some fun, enjoy the great outdoors. Go take a trip somewhere you've never been before. Go meet some new people. You know, get out. Sh do some light. Do some bringers of light work. You're a light worker. You're an empath. You're here to serve. At least I think most of you are. If you're on a spiritual journey, you're here to do service work. So get out there and do some service work. That always makes you feel better. And sharing your light and spreading your love, um, be it through charity work or you know, meeting people you've never met before and having a nice conversation and maybe making someone's day by talking to them or smiling at them, you know, do something else for somebody else. And let's just get so, it's like be self-centered without being so self-centered, I think is the message. It's like, don't forget about yourself, but like 10, 100, 
thousand at this point other people have it worse off than you right now especially what with what's going on out in the world um so it's time to like rise above some of these woe is me feelings just go have some fun enjoy yourself just set the intention to serve ask spirit how you can best serve and know that you are in return always being served by the universe all your goals all your intentions everything always is met in the way that's for everyone's best and highest good so you will be successful <sighs> all right you guys wow all right well that is it for group three i hope you enjoyed this i'm glad i did it and i think that's all we have to share so i will see you all again soon in the next episode Hopefully you can join me on Instagram for our prosperity healing and our charity event. That's tomorrow. I don't know what day it is. Oh, May 7th. I'm going to try to do this at least twice a month. Um, do a, like a healing clinic along with a charity event. We're going to be making mug cake tomorrow too. So I'm going to, in my Instagram stories, post some mug, mug cake recipes. They're just two minute little recipes. They're very quick. They're not mine. Um, they belong to Pick Up Limes, which I love Pick Up Limes on YouTube. So if you want to join us for that event and you want to make a mug cake, then you can check out the recipes and gather your ingredients in advance. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining me in our May Pick a Card, and I will talk to you all again soon in the next episode. Take care. episode has been brought to you by Relics Bookshop, Oakwood's premier location for magical books, sacred tools, candles, body care items, and more. Be you wizard, muggle, or witch, Relics has something for everyone. Thank you so much for listening.